paid stage performer of all time. A man who is known throughout the world for his candelabra, his piano, and his shows. Ladies and gentlemen, Liberace! Too much of a good thing is wonderful! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm glad you like it, but you know what? To get dressed like this every day requires a special assistant. And uh, I have a lovely young man on this tour who is responsible for all my costumes, my jewelry, my cars, and I couldn't be here without him. Can you please thank him for me, Schlott Thorsten. <laughs> you know what? When I first met Scott, he came up to me and he said, he said, Lee, I'm a practicing homeopath. <laughs> well, I think that's what he said. <laughs> well, I hope you don't mind, but under all these lights, it's hotter than hell in here. <laughs> Do you mind if I slip into something just a little bit more exotic? <laughs> you okay with that? Yes. Scott, could you help me please? Thank you. <laughs> well, look me over. <laughs> I don't get dressed like this to go unnoticed. <laughs> well, I guess you want me to play the piano, don't you? Yeah, yeah and I will in a minute. But I thought, I heard you say, my, you want to see my rings? Do you like him? Do you like the diamond rings? Yeah, let me tell you, this is my, one of my favorite rings here. This emerald was a gift from the Pope when I performed at the Vatican City. And when I had a private audience with the Pope, I took one look at him, and when I felt underdressed, you know. <laughs> and then this lovely one here, the ruby, I got that from Her Majesty, the Queen Elizabeth, when I performed at the Royal Albert Hall in England. Who would have thought? Two queens in one room. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, I guess you want me to play the piano, don't you? Yeah. Well, before I play that lovely piano over there, can you tell me what's missing from the piano? My candelabra, thank you so much. Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. He's very good to his mother. And hardly ever goes home. <laughs> You know what? I hate to see him leave, but I love to watch him walk away. 
Well, I, I guess you want me to play the piano, don't you? Okay, here we go. You know what? A question I am often asked is how did you come up with the idea for the candelabra? Well, let me tell you. My brother George and I, our favorite composer of all time was Chopin. And he always performed with a candelabra on his piano. And I thought, well, if it's good enough for Chopin, it's good enough for Liberace, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you want me to play the piano, don't you? Yeah, you do. Okay, here we go. You know what? You've got to be very careful when you wear sequins all over your trousers. <laughs> I tell you, you get a sequin in the wrong spot. <laughs> I sing high G, I tell you. I guess you want me to play the piano. <laughs> okay, here we go. You know what? <laughs> Another question I am often asked is, Lee, how do you play the piano? with all those rings on your fingers. And I tell them, very well. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see the rings at the top? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you like the rings. You know what? You all pay for them. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you want me to play the piano, don't you? Okay, here we go. Right. I'm going to play for you now one of my favorite compositions by Chopin. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> well, before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, I have got another lovely young man backstage who is going to play this beautiful piano for you. He is my protege. Please welcome him to the stage, Mr. Vince Cardell. I see you've been rummaging through my leftovers again. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a raise of hands. Who remembers the good old days of rock and roll? Yeah? Weren't they fun? What about the Foxtrot? Yes. yes. What about the walls? Yes. But who remembers the boogie woogie craze? Yes.
my theme song. Seeing 